Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A very good morning to you out there. Welcome to today's morning glory service in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. What a wonderful day that the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Shall we go ahead and appreciate the Lord for this privilege that he has granted each and every one of us to be part of this uh, morning glory service today. Let's lift our voice to heaven as we appreciate God. Mighty God, we appreciate you from the depth of our heart. We lift our voice to you this beautiful morning, this beautiful day, to appreciate you for the gift of life. Thank you for the privilege of appearing again in your presence. Mighty God, we give you thanks from our heart. Your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' precious name, we have given him thanks. In Psalms 145 and verse 21, Psalms 145 verse 21, the Bible says, My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. My mouth shall praise, shall speak of all the praises of God. I want us to lift our voice this morning as we let God know that our mouths speak of his praise this morning. Not anything else but the praise of God. Lord, like David the psalmist, our mouths speak of your praises this morning. Our mouths speak of your wonderful works this morning. Our mouths speak of your, your praise and your beauty upon our lives. Our mouths speak of your glory. Father, we exalt you as king above all. Let your mouth speak of his praise this beautiful morning. I exalt you as king above all. You are marvelous and you are wonderful. There is none like you, neither can there be any compared with you. Father, who can fathom your infinite wisdom? Lord, thank you. Our mouth speak of your praises this morning. Thank you for satisfying our mouth with good things. We appreciate you. Our mouths speak of your praise this morning. Thank you for opening your hands and satisfying the desire of each and every one of us whenever we converge here. This beautiful day, our mouths speak of your praises, Abba Father. Thank you, mighty God, for giving us our meat in due season. We appreciate you. Our mouths speak of your praise this beautiful day. To you alone be all the glory. Our flesh exalt your name. We bless your mighty name, O God. Thank you for giving us our meat in due season. Anytime we gather here, God, you have not allowed us to go back with starvation. Father, you have fed us, O God. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have given him thanks. Amen. Psalms chapter 50 and verse 3. Psalms chapter 50, verse 3. He say, our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempted round about him. Our God shall come and he shall not keep silence. We'll be saying, Father, show up in this morning glory service and make your presence known to each and every one of us. Mighty God, show up. He said, our God shall come. Nothing will stop him. He will come. Father, show up in this morning glory service and let your presence be, be, be known to each and every one of us. Let's go ahead as we pray. Mighty God, show up in today's morning glory service. You have promised that you will come and you will not keep silence. Let your presence be made known to each and every one of us that is connected online right now. Let your presence be made known to men and women that will be part of this service today. Lord, show up. You have promised that you will come and you will not keep silence. 
Nothing will limit you. Nothing will stop you because you have proposed to be part of this service. You have proposed to be part of this service because this gathering is unto your name, O oh God. Lord, come, show up in this meeting. Show up in this service. And let your presence be made known to each and every one of us. Let everyone that is online right now, O oh God, experience your presence. Show up in today's morning glory. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We'll be committing all the brethren that are meant to be part of this service. We'll be asking the Lord to hasten and bring them online. To hasten, to help them to have a smooth connection to help them to be part of this service early and on time. Let's go ahead and commit all the brethren. Father, we commit all the brethren that are meant to be part of this morning glory service. Wherever they are, Lord, we ask that you help them to connect swiftly. Help them to come online early so that they can be part of the service. We call them from wherever they are, from different locations, from different nations, oh God. We pray that, Lord, you help them to connect and be part of this service this morning. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 16. Jeremiah 15, 16. Jeremiah speaking, he said, Thy word were found, and I did eat them, and thy word was unto me the joy and the rejoicing of mine heart. For I am called by the name of the Lord. Thy words were found, and I ate them. Until you find the word of God, you cannot eat it. What you have not found, you cannot eat. So we pray that Lord, reveal your word and give everyone the appetite to feed. Reveal your word in this service and give each and every one of us the appetite to feed. Let's go ahead and pray. Father, we ask that you reveal your word in this service this morning. And give each and every one of us the appetite to feed. Let there be a longing in our souls to feed. Reveal your word as your word is revealed this morning. We pray that you give each and every one of us a strong appetite to feed. Let there be a hunger for your word in our hearts. As your word is revealed to us this morning, oh God, let there be a hunger to feed on your word. Let there be a hunger. Let there be a desire to feed on your word. Your word is our necessary food. It is a meal that we cannot do without. Father, as your word is revealed through your servant in this morning glory service, let there be a burning desire in the heart of men and women to feed on your word. Give each and every one of us the appetite to feed on this word to feed on your word this morning and be satisfied by it, to feed on your word and be nourished by it, to feed by your, to feed on your word and be transformed by it. Give each and every one of us a strong appetite that Lord will not despise the meal that you are about to serve us this morning, that will not despise the meal that you are about to dish out this morning. Each and every one of us will have a longing, will have a longing to eat of this meal, to feed from this meal, Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Amos chapter 3 verse 7. He says, surely the Lord will do nothing, but he reveals his secret unto his servant and the prophet. Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he reveals his secret unto his servant and the prophet. We'll be saying, Lord, reveal your secret concerning me to your servant and cause him to speak as he has heard. Reveal your secret concerning me to your servant this day, and cause him to speak as he has heard. Lift your voice as we pray. Lord, reveal your secret. Reveal your secret to your servant concerning me. There is a secret. There is a word that you have for me today. Reveal it to your servant, O oh God. Make known your secret to your servant. Lord, and as he, as he receives from you, cause him to speak the same into my life. As he receive, cause him to speak the same into our life this morning. Reveal your mind. Reveal your good thoughts that you have for each and every one of us on this special day. 
Father, we are happy. We are glad to know that we have a Father that think of us on daily basis. Father, let your thoughts for each and every one of us today be revealed to your servant. And as you reveal your thoughts to your servant, Lord, cause him to speak as he has heard from you. Cause him to speak your word as he has heard. That everyone, every soul that is here this morning will not go back the same. We will receive our individual word. We will be fed by the individual word that God is sending to our lives. Father, we will hear our own word. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Let's lift up our voice and appreciate the Lord because he has heard us this morning. Father, we give you thanks. We appreciate you for your word that you'll be revealing and be speaking to us through your servant today. We give you thanks for the appetite that we'll have to feed on your word. Thank you, Father. Receive all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We'll be worshiping the Lord with this song of Tim Godfrey. He said, Jesus is so good to us. Hallelujah. You are so good to me. Jesus, you are so good to me. God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Intentional God. Everything is working out for my good. Dependable, dependable God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Intentional, intentional God. Everything is working out for my good. You are good, Jesus. You are good. You are good, you are good, Jesus, you are good. In all circumstances, in all circumstances, oh, in all circumstances, in all circumstances, oh, oh, oh. Dependable. dependable God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Intentional, intentional God. Everything is working out for my good. Oh yes, you are good, Jesus. You are good, you are good, Jesus. Oh yes, in all circumstances, in all circumstances, Oh, 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 in all circumstances, in all circumstances, oh, 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 in all circumstances, in all circumstances, oh. oh, oh. Circumstances in all circumstances. Oh, oh yes. You are so good to me. You are so good to me. You are so good to me. 
You are so good to me. You are so good to me. You are so good to me. You are so good to me. You are so good to me. You are so good to me. Oh yes. You are so good to me. So good to me. You are so good to me. You are so good to me. You are so good to me. In all circumstances, in all circumstances, oh, oh, oh hallelujah. Amen. Let's lift up our voice as we appreciate the Lord that is good to us in all circumstances. Father, we give you thanks from our heart. Receive our worship this morning. You remain good in our lives. In all circumstances, you have never changed. We give you the glory. We give you the adoration. In Jesus' precious name, we have worshiped him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you haven't shared this broadcast, please do so quickly as we go into a segment of prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Today's prayer is... Uh, Pronouncing judgment against the force of resistance. Pronouncing judgment against the force of resistance. That is any force that want to resist the establishment and the growth of the church in this nation and the nation wherever you are connecting from will be pronouncing judgment against such forces. I read the book of Psalms 145 verse 2. Psalms chapter 145, verse 2. Before we pronounce the judgment, we will give thanks to God. He said, every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. David the psalmist says, every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. We'll be saying, Father, we bless your name continually. For your great and unsearchable acts, we bless your name continually for your great and unsearchable acts in the church. Let's go ahead and appreciate him. Father, we bless your name continually for your great and unsearchable acts in the body of Christ in this nation. For your great and your unsearchable acts in the church, we bless your name. We glorify your name for your great and unsearchable acts. In the body of Christ, in the nation of Kenya, you can mention the nation you are joining from. Lord, we bless your name. Your unsearchable act, your unsearchable acts in the church, your unsearchable acts, oh God, in the church, in the body of Christ, we bless your name. We glorify your name. You have done great and mighty things, and Lord, we appreciate you. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have given thanks. Amen. In John chapter 5 and verse 22. John chapter 5 verse 22. It says, For the Father judges no man, but he had committed all judgment unto the Son. The Father judges no man, but the Father committed all judgment unto the Son. So the Son has right to judge because the Father have committed judgment into his hands. Who is the Son? Jesus Christ. Who are you? He said, as the Father have sent me, so have I sent you. John chapter 1, verse 12 down to 14. He said, as many that have received him, he gave them power to become the sons of God. So you and I, as long as you're born again, you are part of those that the Father committed judgment into their hands. As many that have received him, he gave them power to become the sons of God. That's why we'll be pronouncing judgment because we have that right. We have that authority. We'll be saying in the name of Jesus, we pronounce judgment against any force resisting the inflow of souls to Breakthrough Chapel International and other churches in this nation. In the name of Jesus, we pronounce judgment against any force resisting the inflow of souls to Breakthrough Chapel International and other churches 
in this nation and whatever nation that you are connecting from. Let's go ahead and pronounce judgment. Make sure you are doing so. Remember, judgment is committed into your hands. God is holding on to you. God is relying on you to pronounce such judgment on this day. In the name of Jesus, we pronounce judgment against any force that is resisting the inflow of souls, that is resisting the inflow of souls in Breakthrough Chapel International and other churches in this nation. We resist, we pronounce judgment, we pronounce judgment this day against any force, against any force that is resisting the inflow of souls, that is resisting the inflow of men and women to break through Chapel International and other churches in this nation of Kenya. We pronounce judgment. We pronounce judgment because judgment is committed. All judgment is committed to the sons. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pronounce judgment against all forces behind the resistance of inflow of souls and of souls of men and women into Breakthrough Chapel International and other churches in this nation. The force of religion, we command you to give way. The force of religion in the land, we command you to give way. The spirit of lukewarmness and laziness that causes men and women to be draggish towards kingdom activities that forces the legs of men and women to be draggish. The force of the spirit of lukewarmness and laziness give way in the name of Jesus. Repushi atakati ledusia. We pronounce judgment and we hereby decree the spirit of lukewarmness and laziness. Lose your grip over the souls of men and women. Lose your grip over the souls of men and women. In the name of Jesus, the force of sin give way. The force of sin give way. We pronounce judgment against you this morning because you are one of the force that is resisting the inflow of the souls of men and women into churches force of sin give way force of sin give way force of tribalism we command you to give way we pronounce judgment upon the force of tradition of tribalism that is behind the resistance of the inflow of souls of men and women into breakthrough chapel international and other churches in this nation Make sure wherever you are, you're pronouncing judgment. Spirit of lukewarmness, lose your grip. Spirit of laziness, lose your grip over the souls of men and women. Enough is enough. Lose your grip over the precious lives that God saved by the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lose your grip. The force of tribalism give way in the name of Jesus Christ. The force of religion give way in the name of Jesus. We have identified you as some of the forces that resist the inflow of souls of men and women to churches. We have identified you. We hereby pronounce judgment in the name of Jesus Christ. We pronounce judgment against forces, against forces that are responsible to the resistance of inflow of souls into Breakthrough Chapel International. We pronounce judgment against forces that are responsible, that are responsible in resisting the inflow of souls into other churches in this city. <coughs> Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have made our pronouncement. Amen. Psalms 24 and verse 7. Psalms 24 and verse 7. He said, lift up your heads, O ye gate, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. The king of glory wants to come into this city. He has come in. We have experienced that before, but he still wants to come into this city. Praise the Lord. He wants to come into this city. We'll be saying, O ye gates of Mombasa and the nation of Kenya, be lifted up. 
for the gospel of Jesus. Be lifted up for the gospel of Jesus. Give a, give a free passage for the gospel of Jesus in the land. Let's go ahead and pray. O ye gates of Mombasa and the nation of Kenya, be lifted up, be lifted up, be lifted up for the gospel of Jesus. Give passage to the for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Rekaboshinda likoto zebra. Lekata yekete kusi brayante lito ziba yakata. O ye gates of Mombasa. O ye gates of the nation of Kenya. And whatever nation you are connecting from. O ye gates, we command you to be lifted. We command you to be lifted. You will no longer receive the gospel. Gates of Mombasa, gates of the nation of Kenya, you will no longer resist the gospel. Be ye lifted up for the gospel of Jesus to penetrate. Be ye lifted for the gospel of Jesus to penetrate more than what we are seeing now. We command the gates of this nation. We command the gates of the nation of Kenya. Be lifted up. Be lifted up for the penetration of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the penetration of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. That churches will start emerging from different locations. In one city, we will have more than enough churches without any resistance. Ye gates of Mombasa, ye gates of Mombasa, hear ye the word of the Lord. Ye gates of Nairobi, ye gates of Kisumu, ye gates of Malindi. Pakate lido zipra kata yeke kete lido zia. Rekande lito zipa kashe yeke te ikata. Ye gates of the nation of Kenya, hear ye the word of the Lord. Be lifted up, be lifted up, be lifted up for the gospel of Jesus to have a free passage into this nation. Mara takete kosibra. Lekota yekete lita yekete kusiata. Jeketa lido zibra yanta. Be lifted up, be lifted up without resistance. Without resistance, we command the gates of this nation be lifted without any form of resistance for the gospel of Jesus Christ to penetrate into every village, into every corner by the blood of Jesus without any form of resistance. We command the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to be lifted without any form of resistance. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory in Jesus Christ mighty name we have prayed indeed we have pronounced judgment over forces that are responsible for the resistance of the inflow of souls into churches in this nation and the nation you are connecting from hallelujah now we'll be going into a session of personal prayer personal prayer and we'll be looking at sensitivity of the spirit to know what to accept when your full time comes. Sensitivity of the spirit. To be able to know what to accept when your full time comes. The greatest error you will make in life as a child of God is to accept what is wrong, what is not meant to be part of you when your full time comes. And it takes accuracy and sensitivity in the spirit to be able to accept what is right when that time comes. And I'm glad to let each and every one of us know that our full time is not tomorrow. It is already here. That's why we need to pray this prayer. I read the book of Luke chapter 1 from verse 57 to 60. Luke chapter 1 from verse 57 to 60. I read this verse of scripture before we pray. He said, now Elizabeth's full time came that she should be delivered. And she brought forth a son verse 58, and her neighbors and her cousins heard how the Lord had showed great mercy upon her, and they rejoiced with her, verse 59, and it came to pass that on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they called his name Zacharias, after the name of his father, in the eyes of everyone that came, they knew that no other name befit that child 
except the name of the father. They were celebrating and jubilating and they gave him the name Zechariah. They named him after his father. Verse 60. And his mother answered and said, Not so. That is not the name. The mother answered and said, Not so. But he shall be called John. Remember, your full time is already here. Your full time for crowning restoration. Your full time for promotion. Your full time for breakthrough. Your full time for promotion is already here. But you have to say not so to anything, to anyone, anywhere that is sitting and giving counsel concerning you. That as those decisions are being made, anyone, anywhere saying anything contrary. So we lift in our voice to make some dangerous decree this morning. You can afford to close your mouth wherever you are. I said not so to backstabbing, not so to stagnation, not so of turning at the eve of my miracle, not so. Lift your voice. Elizabeth lifted her voice. She was a sensitive mother in the spirit to be able to know what to accept and what not to accept. I want you to lift your voice. Go ahead and begin to declare. There are some things that you must say not so to. If your promotion will happen this month, there are things you must say not so to. If your establishment will come to pass, there are things you must say not so to. Let's go ahead and begin to make this decree. I say not so to oppression. Not so to oppression. Kalibu sikaya betu si mata kete lito siya. Declare not so rapish kete lito si brayantela. Not so to unstable health. Not so, not so to stagnation. Because my full time is come. I say not so. Bradli koto bra i kete lita sa. Je prandali koto to zipa kata ye kete lita ya. Zembla to shika. Zebranda leko to zipa ya. Ye kete lito zipa ata ye kete lita ya ta ya ta. Zepa kande lito zipa dosh kete ayanda. Lebranda leko soto brande kita ya. Yeka, not so to laboring without partaking. Yes, not so, yes, not yes, so. Yes, in the name of Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, not yes, so. Yes, living from hand to mouth. Yes, not so. Keka lekusibra. Yeki she yeke te lido zibra yanta. Leka ta 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 ta. Zeka ta ke te lido do shenta ya. Lambra no zeke te kata da 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 bo shenta. Bape koto zibra da ke te lida zika ta. Shepa lando zibra yeke te lido zibra ta sheke te ligro do go zita ya. I say not so in the name of Jesus. Babra no zibra da zeke te liga da 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 bo shenta. Not so, not so to laboring without partaking. Not so. You can afford to close your mouth. Elizabeth didn't close her mouth. She said, Not so. He can't be called a Zachariah. Not so. Not so to rejection. Not so. Not so to delay. Not so to delay. Not so to delay. Not so to carry unnecessary weight. Not so. Not so. Not so. In the name of Jesus. Not so to yoke of sin. Not so to yoke of sin. Reka pashi kete lido. Ma ke 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 dia. Je kete lido sibra. Not so to the yoke of sin. Not so. Ze pa kata ye kete lido sibra. Ze pa ra. Le randa da 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 bo sibra. Le kete koto branda. Yante ye ke debo. Reko sibra ye ke shenta. Not so to enticement of sin. Not so. Not so to enticement of sin. Not so in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Let's lift up our voice. The Bible says she said not so. As soon as she said not so, it said, but he shall be called John. Before we close, 
you have said not so to some things. Now, in few minutes, begin to mention what should be. I embrace my promotion. I embrace, I embrace liberty. Promotion. I embrace, I embrace favor I embrace in the name of Jesus. I embrace, I embrace righteousness. I embrace, I embrace breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I embrace favor. I embrace promotion. I embrace divine health. I embrace progress. Go ahead and embrace. I embrace, I embrace, I embrace favor. I embrace pushia. I embrace lifting in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you glory, Lord. We exalt your holy name. Let's go ahead and appreciate him. Father, we give you glory. We exalt your name, mighty God. Thank you and thank you, great I, I am. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Let's put our hands together for the Lord as we receive God's servant. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is a good God. Amen. Our God is a good God. He's a new month. Amen. A new beginning for every one of you. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It is a new day for you. Amen. A new day for me. Amen. It is a new visitation. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on, declare with your mouth. It's a new visitation. It is a new, it's a new order of the day. It is a new visitation. A new visitation. A new visitation. The glory of God glory is rising Jesus. upon my life. I'm seeing a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, recopa lege do belu garato. Elu baba yegedo zedo legere keto lo babo rako pa ba 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 ba. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I am that I am. Receive praise and adoration. Receive praise and adoration. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, praise the Lord. The Lord is good. All the time. The Lord is good. All the time. He will do you wonder this morning. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He will do you wonder this morning. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are just making new some minor minor adjustment in our setting. Praise God. Hallelujah. I said praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Time. Good to see everyone this morning. Good to see you, sir. It is well with your soul. Amen. It is well with your soul. Amen. All right. Let's go to God's word this morning as we face the day. I will be sharing with you on the team for this month. I'll be sharing with us on something that uh, God have laid in my heart to be our main teaching for this month. Amen. But before we do that, once again, let's thank God for the new months. Amen. Go ahead and thank God for the new month. Father, we Just open thanks. your mouth and thank God for we the new month. Lord, we thank you for the new month. We exalt your, we exalt your holy name. name. We bless your holy name. You. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank in Jesus' precious name. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Now we'll be looking at, at the mystery of networking. The mystery of spiritual networking. Or we leave it at just the mystery of networking. And we will take our text from the book of Psalm 133. Psalm 133. Psalm 133. Sorry.
Psalm 133 is a very short chapter and we will read all. It says, Behold how good and pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity. He said, It is like a precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beer, even to Aaron's beer, that went down to the scarf of his garment. He said, as the dew of Hammon, we all know what the dew of Hammon did, and as the dew that descend upon the mountain of Zion, mountain of Zion, for there the Lord commands the blessing, not just blessing, the blessing, even life forevermore. You see that? even life forevermore. For there the Lord command blessing. And this blessing, he explained, even life forevermore. I read from Message Bible. It says, how wonderful, how beautiful when brethren, when brothers and sisters get along it is like costly anointing oil flow down heads and beer flowing down Aaron's beer flow down to the collar of his priestly look at that word his priestly robe every priestly robe need the flow of the oil Say it is like the dew of Mount Hammon flowing down to the slopes of Zion. Yes, that is where God command the blessing ordained eternal life. There, the blessing, there, God commands. The blessing, not just blessing, that is what we call the blessing. The blessing, the blessing, the blessing of the Lord, we are told it maketh no sorrow. It's a blessing that is different from other blessings. The mystery of networking. This is both physical and spiritual. Amen. How good and pleasant it is for brethren to do it together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that are on, that affect every areas, every part of the body. We will be looking at this topic this month and I want you to get ready to build a solid network around your destiny. I'd like to quickly put it to us this morning that an understanding of this topic will change your life. Amen. Amen. From day one, it will begin to change your life. Amen. 
The Bible says we are God's purpose or not. God wants to do something on earth, but he decided that he's not going to come by himself. He's going to network with us. I want you to learn. God had a purpose in his heart. God wants his will to be done on earth. But he network with man. Remember in Ezekiel he said, I sought for a man. You are not made, get it right. You are not meant by God, made by God to succeed on your own. You are not made to succeed on your own. You will never be your best, the best of God that he packages you by being alone. You are not going to be. You are not going to be the, the best, the very best that God has for you on earth by being alone. You have to both physically and spiritually Network with like-minded. Take note of that word. Like-minded people. God started networking. It's not a corporate organization that started those uh, concepts. They only give it a, a, a contemporary English. If you want to, you know the Bible says you are the light of the world, a city that is set on high that cannot be hid. If you want to live and fulfill whom God has made you, there is a need to both physically and spiritually network. Network. You have to. You have no choice but to network. You have no choice but to network. You have to network with others. And you have to do it intentionally. Intentionally. You have to do it intentionally. You have to do it purposefully. You have to do it with an understanding and a full knowledge of what you are doing and the importance of it. You have to. Like I said, God started networking. It was not, it was not an idea of man. It was an idea and the principle of God Almighty himself. Let me take you to that beginning. In Genesis chapter 1 and verse number 26, Genesis chapter 1 and verse number 26, God has been creating every other thing by speaking his word and God said and God said and God said and God said and everything he said came to be but when he is to create the best of his creation that is to manage other things that he has created God introduced the principle of networking. He introduced the principle of networking. The Bible says in 26, And God said, Let us make man 
in our own image. Let us make man in our own image. See that word? When it comes to produce the fullness of God, he said, let us. Let us make man in our own image. When it comes to his image, the fullness of him, you know what he said? Let us. Let us make man in our own image. You cannot become the fool of you without, and I'm saying, you cannot become the very best of you that God has made you without both physical and spiritual networking. You cannot. You cannot. Let us make man, you see, us, not him alone. Other thing was done by him alone. But when it comes to the makeup, to the making of a man, I know it was the man that he put in charge of every other thing. When he wanted to do a thing of greater capacity than other thing that has made, he involved the principle of networking. He invited the Son and invited the Holy Ghost. The word us signify more than enough. Let us make man. Let us. That word us. Let us. And God spoke in a, in a message Bible say, and God spoke, let us make human being in our image, make them reflecting our nature. If you want to get the fullness of God for your life established here, if you want to be all that God wants you to be, or he has created you to be, you have to both physically and spiritually build a commensurable network around your life. I'd like to move to say to you, your network determine your net worth. Your network determine your net worth. You are valuable in life to the level of your network. To the level of your network. <laughs> to the level of your network. You are not going to worth more than the level of your network. Hear what God says in John chapter 15. He said, without me being your network, you can amount to nothing. You will amount to nothing. You see that? If I'm not part of your network, why would Look at that scripture. It looks so simple. But I want you to see it in the light of our teaching this morning. John 15. And verse number 5. It said, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. That's why I got that statement. Your network determine your net worth. 
For without me, ye can do nothing. You see that? Where you are, whether you are aware of it or not, is defined by your network. Is defined by your network. Men of credible network are men of credible values. Men of credible network are men of credible value. Therefore, this month is very crucial. It doesn't matter how long you have been in that predicament. This teaching will help you to reorganize your network, to reevaluate and to redetermine your value in life. Your network. Your network. Your network. You can imagine your classmate who you had good rapport with. You can imagine him become a president of a nation. Your what we your what we change. Networking, so I mean building a solid networking around your life is giving room for synergy. You are able to tap into the grace of others. The grace of others. You are able to assess the favor that is on the life of others. On a, on a cheap price. Not cheap anyway, because uh, in the course of the teaching, you'll be discovering that it is very difficult and costly to build network. It's very costly. Let me say to you, who is on the boat of your life? You will determine whether it will be rocky, whether it will capsize, or whether it will sail through. I ask you that question. Again, check your network. Your network. Check who is on your nets. Check who is on the boat of your life. If you are successful, you will see that they play a major role. If you are not successful, you will discover you were not the only one that failed. That what network was also a collection of failures. That's why they could not alter your life. That's why they could not add value to you. There are a network that all they do is to is to is to discourage you. Everything God is saying to you, they say there is no way there. There are a network, all they do is to create problem for you. Who is on your boat? We saw it in the book of Jonah. When Jonah entered the boat, that is when the wind became boisterous. When Jonah left the sheep, the, the sheep enjoy the boat enjoy stability. Who is on your network? Who are the people we surround our life with? You can't walk with everyone and get to a specific place. That's right. You can't believe everybody and arrive at your destination. You can't be stopping on the road to throw stone at every dog that bark and get to where you are going on time. You can't. You have to build a network that matches what you have discovered about your life. Your God's giving vision must be network around like-minded people, not mediocre. Not mediocre. We'll be looking at, uh, in the next teaching, we'll be looking 
in details some mystery about I think about four animals but I will just introduce it today please check your network check staff that work with you who are they oh my god I have blunder on this I have what blunder on this don't bring people to your life by mercy help people by mercy but when it comes to your network don't build it by mercy mercy in quotes don't bring anybody on board because he's suffering because he might inflict your network with suffering build your network consciously consciously is for example don't marry for sympathy Oh, that man is suffering. Oh, that man is suffering. That does not make him your husband. Assist him where you can. But when it comes to engaging in a relationship with a man, engage with a vision. Sometimes we interchange this thing. What we are supposed to do by the principle of vision, we do it by the principle of mercy. They are both God's principle, but applicable on different platforms. Don't employ someone because he's suffering. No. Because job is different from comfort. Job has its principle. Let's look at, let's, let's, let's read that passage before we go. Proverbs chapter 30. Proverbs chapter 30. And I will start from verse 24. What kind of a person is your house help? You know it's part of your network. It's part of your making. Is he the one that opened your house to all other house help in the estate? To discuss other house, other house owners. What kind of a person is he? I read that scripture to introduce us. Verse 24 of Proverbs chapter 30. It said, There be four things which are little upon the earth. But they are exceeding wise. Message Bible says there are four small creatures. Small, you know, small God, <laughs> small creature, wisest of the wisest they are. And we will see what made them being described this way was the dynamics of networking the way they operate the way they do what operate the way they operate is crucial the way they operate is crucial very crucial the way they operate is crucial I read for you. It said, There be four things which are little upon the earth. A little thing can be made great thing by the principle of networking or by the power of networking. There be four things which are little, they are not big. Sometimes you think you are not big enough. No, you don't need to be big. You only need to have a solid network. Not net sitting, networking, not net talking. We have too many net talking. Allow my English. A network that is, is not working, but is only meant to do what? To talk.
And this is explained, especially in East Africa here, we can use Safaricom. Safaricom is ever having the best return every year. What do they do on it? People talk on it. It's a platform to talk. That's why they make such money. But when you look at what they make from us, it does not reflect what we make with our lives. The talks are not productive talks. The Bible says the talks of the lip turn to penury. They are little upon their, they are not great. They are little upon the earth, but they are exceeding wise. And he began to mention those little things. He said, the ant are people not strong, yet they prepare their meat in the summer. You see that? Little, not strong. Are you hearing that? Little, not strong. He talk about the conies are but a feeble folks. Yet, they are feeble for, yet they go, uh, yet they make their houses inside the rock. But they are feeble. Then, the, the third one. The, lo the locust have no king. Yet, go they forth, all of them, by bands. They are like army. You see, the government, they, 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 they have no king. They have no MP. They have no counselor. They have no MCA. If you are in Kenya, you understand what I'm saying. They have no member of, they have no member of parliament. There is no president. But they are our concern in part of this country today. The grasshoppers, the, the, the locust. Then he talk about the fourth one. The spider take her hold with her hand. And it's in king palaces. It's in king palaces. I, I, I love, I love the way, I love the way Amplify put it. There he used lizard. He said lizard is easy enough to catch with hand. But they sneak past vigilant palace guard. They sneak past. You see all these things. Number one was what? The ant. Number two, the conies. Number three, the locust. Number four, the spider. These are things we see around us and they are so small. They are so, uh, they are so neg uh, neglectful, if you want. But they have terrible impact. They have great impact. They survive what even human beings could not survive. They create impact that men do not create. What is the mystery behind them? Networking. Networking. They don't work alone. They work with like-minded. If you see, if a piece of bread drop in your house, just a little bit, and you see where and pick it in the morning, and by evening, when you return, you will see where they have reached. And they are very feeble. But one will roll it, the other one will leave the rolling. The other one is only supporting it. This one will come and roll it again. The other one, or they all hold it. I don't know the mystery. And they are going in the same direction. The conies are very feeble. But they have their house inside the rock. The locusts have impact, yet they have no king. All these, one of their major strength is the power of networking. The power of networking. The power of networking. And that's what we'll be looking at this month. To help you sense your surroundings. There are people that come on your network, your network shoot up. And there are people that come in, you are either at stagnation or you are going down. Not everybody takes people up. Not everybody takes people up. There are people that bring people down. 
It is their ministry. Check their aunt, uh, 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 check their record. The antecedent. Check it. They have never built any place in their life. So what makes you think they will come to you and build you? Have you not noticed corporate organization? When you are looking for a job, they ask you to bring your CV. They want to know where you have worked. They want to know the position you have held. They want, they, they, they want to, they, what, what do we call it now? Uh, I've forgotten at this point. They want to, they, give, they ask you to give them reference that they can ask about you. I love world vision. They do not just ask you to give record of where you walk. They will also ask you, give us your, your spiritual head. Give us your pastor. Let your pastor or let your spiritual leader feel this. Because they know life does not begin from physical. It begins from spiritual. I will open you up and then you now begin to sense so who are the people around you. You can just ask a question. What have they added to you? I've had somebody on my, on my network some times ago. What he has gained from me within two years was over one million. But I can't remember what he added to me as a person. What he added to me that is up to 15,000, even 10,000. There are termites of life. Termites eat precious documents such as your certificate. There are people who eat your destiny. You say, so where are they? Check what they say about you. Check what they think about you. Check what they perceive about you. There are termites of life. I will be pouring the insecticide of God's word over them as we allow revelation to open our eyes. That's why I say separate me. There are people you separate out of your networks. There are eaters of destiny. Not everybody is a builder of destiny. Not everybody is a destiny helper. There are people who consume you, but they don't build you. As you go this morning, may the Lord go with you. But I want you to take proper study on Proverbs chapter 30 from verse 24 to 28. That is our main. We'll be looking at the, 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 the secret, what they gain, what this animal, what this little thing, the Bible called little thing, little folk. You know, people don't have what other have to make progress, yet they achieve remarkable progress. We'll be looking at how they operate. I pray for you this morning that as you face your day, may the Lord expand this scripture and make it relevant as it has to do with you. I came to realize as I was blessed by one of our brother, brother Wemali, on the last teaching I made, I was teaching about forgiveness. But he was able to hear Something that I've never had to confirm scripture. Once have I spoken, twice have people heard. He was able to show when he came to, 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 to see me and we're discussing. He was able to show me something I've never known all my life. From my own teaching. I've never known that Jesus gave a resolution on how to go about divorce. I look at those as he was bringing it out. Because what I'm speaking now, it comes to you and become your own bread. You remember, Jesus only multiplied bread. But they say everybody was filled. But I don't believe everybody eat bread. But when it came into their hand, it became their diet. May God's word this morning become the diet that your life requires to move forward. May the Lord bless you and prosper you. In Jesus' precious name. You are there. You are not born again. You don't know Jesus yet as your Lord and your Savior. This morning I would like to pray with you so that you can be on board with Jesus. And that journey will be great. I want you to say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for, for bringing me on this platform. I am a sinner. But today 
I ask you, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin and my trespasses. Forgive me my sin and my trespasses. I believe in the work of Calvary and I embrace it. Thank you, faithful Father, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. And I also believe we have offering for the Lord this morning or this afternoon, depending on the nation in which you are. It's always good to pray over our generous giving to the kingdom of God. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, accept their offering. Use it for the advancement of your kingdom. Multiply that seed as you have declared your word and cause everyone to walk an unusual favor. Bring them into new networks that will increase their net worth in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Praise God. In case you are joining us new, uh, you can check the 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 Empesa details and God bless you as you do so. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for today's service. Bless each and every one of us. Cause us to walk in a new direction as have to do with our network. Father Lord, eliminate those who have to draw. Remove every Jonah out of the sheep of our life. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Be blessed of the Lord. Have a beautiful day and a fruitful week.